Hey guys, so today what we're doing is we're going to be installing the dedicated Snowflake proxy. And we're going to be using the official Tor project website for this. And we're going to follow those instructions and I'm going to walk you through it. In fact, I've never actually done this on my own, so it's going to be a first time for all of us. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow people around the world where censorship persists to connect into the Tor network. Now, the one thing a lot of people are worried about is are they going to be publicly listed? The Snowflake bridges aren't publicly listed, and they also use WebRTC, so it essentially mimics a video chat protocol. In that way, it helps to conceal some of the traffic that may otherwise stand out. And so it appears to be a video chat, WebRTC, and previously you may have noticed my Snowflake Bridges video where I talked about the browser extension, which you can check out as well for various browsers. As you can see, it even tells you how many people you have helped connect into the network. And by adding this extension, you add more bridges, more nodes to the Tor network, and in the end, it helps everyone's anonymity on the Tor network, being decentralized from the publicly listed nodes, and it makes it a lot more difficult for surveillance to be successful on the Tor network users. And it could also potentially increase your own privacy on the Tor network by adding more traffic and more variability in Tor nodes and connections. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Let's go ahead and try out these commands here. Very simple. You know, you simply clone the source code. What it does is it downloads the project. So we'll go ahead and copy that into the terminal that I'm going to install it on. So in my case, it's going to be a dedicated single board computer running a Snowflake proxy 24 hours a day. Your case may be different. You may want to just install it on your main laptop to help out the Tor network. But the choice is up to you. You can even use a Linux phone and have this running on your Linux phone to be part of the solution. So now let's go ahead and CD into Snowflake slash proxy and then Make sure you have Go installed. Make sure to install the Go packages. Or if you're on, use Pac-Man, if you're on a Manjaro or an Arch-based system, as you can see, I'm running in Debian OS on this one, but I'm actually working from a terminal on a single board computer. So the same process will apply for you, no matter what kind of hardware you're using for this. Let's go ahead and do Go build and start building the Snowflake proxy. And now that we have actually built the Snowflake proxy, we can simply run the Snowflake proxy next. Take a look at the README. And to start up our Snowflake proxy, we will do dot slash. First, we'll make sure it's executable. And then we will do dot slash proxy. And that's how easy it is to install a dedicated Snowflake proxy. Like I said, you can install this on any Linux machine. Put it on your Linux phone. Put it on your Linux laptop. Put it on a single board computer if you have it. The more nodes we can add to the Tor network, less effective surveillance becomes in the fact that we will have extra Tor nodes, more variability, more data going into Tor. More nodes means more anonymity for everyone. And one way we can actually check on how our Snowflake is doing is by executing it with a log attached flag. So let's go ahead and do that. Proxy and then log and then we're going to make a file name. So snow.log, we'll try that. And when we run that, it's going to basically log to a file called snow.log. So we'll do that, send it in the background with the ampersand once again. So that's how easy it is. You can become a part of the solution and help grow the Tor network, make it a stronger network, make it a more anonymous network by becoming a Snowflake Bridge. 
if we're going to use Tor, we should also be supporting it. And you can also send donations to donate.torproject.org. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Make sure to share this video everywhere so we can get as many snowflakes out there as possible and repost this video in order to spread awareness and help recruit other people to become a part of the solution. And if you're not into running a dedicated Snowflake, go ahead and check out the browser extension. That's what I have today, guys. Make sure to check out the blog at buymeacoffee.com slash politictech slash posts. And if you want to support there, there's options there. But the blog is public, so it's for everyone. Everyone is welcome. I appreciate your help sharing these posts and videos. And I will be back later with more on how to protect your privacy.